Hello and welcome to a Monday.com demo. So today I want to show a neat tool I've built with for finance, uh, specifically for invoicing. So you can easily send and manage uh, invoices out of Monday.com using QuickBooks. So how this works is these invoices are formatted very similar to how you would view them in QuickBooks, where you have the parent item is going to be all the, in, uh, the details for the customer, and then you have the sub items as a line items of the invoice. So you can see an example here, uh, we have the, the invoice name, Parker to the top, number 433, uh, two out of two is the invoice that's broken up. Uh, and then you have the line items, the amounts, the quantities, and the subtotals, and the grand total at the very top. So how this works is you can just create a new invoice here. So I'm going to call it uh, new invoice one, two, three. And there will be a button that will get added right there. Button will get added, uh, which allows you to create and send the invoice when you hit that button. Now, if you just create, if you hit this button right now, it'll give an error because there isn't any information. We're missing a contact and we're missing the sub items, the individual line items for the invoice. So if I go ahead and hit it right now, all that will do is we'll give an in, it'll give an error saying error unable to send invoice. We're missing the contact. Please add contact and try again. So we'll give you a um, uh, a note on what to do to fix it. So we're missing the contact. So if we select a contact, and I'm going to go ahead and select uh, Peter Parker there, and we're going to hit send again, and it'll refresh the button every single time, uh, just so that you you can immediately try sending it again. So we send it again. It will give us another error showing it's creating the invoice. And then we have another error saying, I don't know, let's send invoice reason missing line item details. And then it gives you another thing to fill out. So we need to make sure we have at least one sub item. The amount field is filled out and the quantity field is filled out. So we can see right now we don't have any of those details. So we'll add um, line item number one and we'll add line item number two. There's going to be two line items in the invoice. Going to add the quantities. This is going to be six hundred dollars. They have one of those, and then this one's going to be fifty dollars, and that's going to be three of those. So now we have our total, which comes out to seven hundred fifty dollars. And now that we have all the information in here, now if we click this button, it will create and send the invoice. So it'll take a second while it's processing. Create an invoice. Boom! Invoice has been sent. It will change the status here to sent to give you a confirmation. And it'll also upload a copy of the invoice right here. So if we open this up now, we'll be able to see a copy of the invoice. Uh, line item one, line item two, the quantity, and then the rates that they came in. So it gives you all the details for the invoice. And then if I check my email, I'll put on my email here, we'll see a brand new invoice coming in. And this is the customer perspective. I click review and pay. And it'll bring me to a uh, payment portal would be a QuickBooks to make a payment on this invoice specifically. So now as a customer, when I make the payment there, it will come back into monday.com and it'll get it marked as paid. And then it'll get moved into a paid status down here. So I'll have all the outstanding and previous invoices. Now what's cool with all of this is if we open this up and we can go to the IM card here, we can see the details. Um, when the invoice was created, when it was sent, and then when it was paid. So it timestamps all those details for you. You can view the invoice in, in QuickBooks itself. We click on that link. I'm not going to open it up because there's some private information in there. Um, so you can view the invoice. Um, and it will also allow you, it'll also move it around if it's overdue. So I've got an automation set up in here that says when the invoice has been sent, 30 days after the invoice has been sent, if it's, the payment has still not been paid, then move it over to 30 plus days overdue. And then you're able to target those ones specifically and say, okay, looks like this one's overdue. We need to go and reach out to this person. Uh, we also set some automations up where it will send reminders to the customer uh, if they have not paid the invoice yet to go and make a payment on the invoice. But what's neat about this all is that once you have it in this invoicing board, now you can have other automations from other boards populate the information in here automatically. So I built this so it's a completely isolated uh, silo from the rest of the boards so that you can create and you can use automations from other boards, create an invoice in here and be able to send and track the invoice in here without having to jump into QuickBooks at all. Uh, now there's, there's some information that you can't do in here that you can do in QuickBooks. There are some specific features, um, things like taxes, all those kinds of things. Those would have to be done in QuickBooks and I don't really have a, a, 
uh, feature for that built out in here, uh, mostly because it's not really necessary. Typically, companies have uh, one pattern they follow. It's a set uh, tax rate for taxes, or it's a specific um, uh, uh, terms, the specific terms of the invoice, uh, like net 30, uh, net 15, etc. They'll have those already preset up. So when you're actually building this whole tool out in here at the beginning, we set those rules up to, for the automation to, to pick up. And then for the one-off invoices, which should be, you know, 20%, uh, those invoices can then get created manually in QuickBooks and sent out through there. But for this, this just allows you to get most of your invoices managed and allows you to remember to follow up and, um, uh, add, remember to add things in here. Another benefit of this too is that uh, some companies will have additional hours. They'll do hourly rates that you don't know about until after the product is finished. Or if it's an installation, you need to get some additional hours or resources to be able to do that installation that you don't know beforehand. I've created this section at the very top here with a status called waiting. What waiting is, what waiting means is that we have, we need to send this invoice out, but it's not ready to send out yet. So as soon as the project gets kicked off, you would create your invoices, you'd pre-create all of your invoices in here, and they would just be in the status of waiting until it's time to bill. Then you'll be reminded to go and add all of your different line items, add additional line items, and then send it across with all of the totals. This allows you to not forget to bill for things that most companies will typically forget to bill for, specifically hours and additional resources or materials used on the project. So this allows you to just keep track of things a lot easier. Whereas if it was in QuickBooks, typically only finance has access, access to that and they'll typically forget to go back to the, um, the ops team to ask them about any additional line items that they need to bill for. Um, so this just allows you to, to give some insight uh, for the rest of the team to know and to, rem to remember to add additional line items in here and send it all in one invoice. Then also it's now got, you can also track these invoices and you can keep a log of them, all the ones that were paid in the past without having, again, to log into QuoteBooks. One additional thing is that uh, what I've done with this is that you can link it up to your operating, your, your main um, ops board uh, where you have the actual project information. And especially, especially if the project is more milestone based, then you can have a mirror column show up all the statuses for the invoices for that specific project. So if you have a project that has three milestones, uh, payment, there's a down payment, and then there's uh, a payment upon each milestone, the completion of each milestone, you can have that all that information display just as a green status bar to show what's been paid on the ops board so that you can see, hey, we cannot begin um, milestone two until we get paid for milestone, the previous milestone. So you can keep track of all those things really easily without having to go bug finance team all the time about where, what the status of the invoices are. So this is just allows you to do it really clean uh, all in one system and it'll give you notifications and, and errors um, if when you press these, press these different buttons. Uh, to manage all the details. Um, you can also set up additional uh, rules and logic in here. Like I said before, you can set up reminders if you want reminders to get sent out to the customer and or yourself, your finance department. Um, so typically what I'll do is I will create a uh, team within monday.com, which I'll call an accounting team or finance team. And anybody within that team, they'll get notifications on these invoices. So if you have hundreds of invoices in this board, it could be a little bit of work to kind of figure out which ones you need to focus on. So I can set up automations that automatically get sent out to the finance, everybody on the finance team saying, Hey, this invoice has been sent, you know, 30 days ago, 40 days ago, and it's still not paid yet. You know, maybe consider sending a reminder. So that's what I've got set up in here. Very, very simple, very clean. Uh, didn't want to add a, too many details to overcomplicate it, but it allows you to approach everything you, most of what you need to do uh, that you would normally do, excuse me, and QuickBooks allows you to do that inside of Monday.com here. Uh, and it works with all the normal integrations um, uh, within this section.